Peter Drymas from July Talk. Hey, this is Molly from Always. Hey, this is Max from the Arkells. And you're listening to CFXU. 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 93.3, The Fox. Campus Radio has been around for a very long time at St. X. They started Voice of Xavier just on like a 5 watt AM transmitter. And from there, it got recognized by the CRTC. Um, evolved into Radio Saint of X. By 1971, they moved to the Bloomfield Center, which is where we are now, and uh, it became CFXU. CFXU is the only campus radio in Canada which is completely run by students. All the other campus radios, and they all have people that are full-time staff that, you know, their career depends on working there. But CFXU is all students. It's amazing to see, you know, that it's still going, that people are so passionate about having CFXU on campus. You know, it's kind of a surprise because not many people know about it. CFXU has kind of become like this this pseudo family almost. Like I I know I can always run into people I know here. It's where I do my radio show. It's where I get to grow and try new things as a producer. It's just, it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of work, but a ton of fun. And campus radio specifically is like a really cool subculture because we're completely removed from like advertised funding or like somebody else's opinion that needs to be expressed in a way to try and mobilize like a customer base. Like we are just trying to mobilize a culture base and set up music as a culture within campus. It's like the people who don't have a place on campus generally just find CFXU. I guess, I guess for me, it's like a collective of weirdos <laughs> um, that kind of give people purpose on campus, and it's like a really creative um, outlet that I don't know, you can express yourself in different ways. But radio seems to be a really cool way to do it. CFXU is probably my biggest creative outlet in the school. Uh, there's not really too many places where somebody who isn't good at music, but still loves the heck out of music, can really share their ideas with someone and like how they interpret stuff, and radio is a great medium for that. Uh, and all in all, it's just like a really, uh, it's like a really tight community to hang out with, you know, like the, the radio family is definitely a thing. There's like a really distinct group of people who are in and out of here every day, uh, coming by and just sort of uh, talking about music, it's fun. You'll find people with their own kind of ways in which they're different from everybody else. And you'll feel like you've got a second home here. Sort of a creative outlet, it's somewhere where you can express yourself. Um, music is a massive form of expression, I think. Especially something simple, like being able to just play the music you like. CFXU, oh yeah, the creative outlet that it is. Uh, you know, it's just a beautiful little home away from home on campus. Uh. Being one of the best and most important places I could ever be. CFXU has become like a, a a really great place and I want to share it with so many people. It becomes part of your daily routine. You know, it's like it's an old hangout. There's not a lot of places on campus where I would have felt as comfortable as I do here. This kind of place, like, if it didn't exist, maybe I wouldn't know about it and I wouldn't feel it, but if it suddenly stopped existing, as a student I would feel very like empty. It would be like a missing piece of this school. Like this is some sort of there's there's a there's a culture that surrounds CFXU that you can't really get anywhere else. People say that radio is like a, a dying art. I think that's completely false. Um, if anything, I think it's, it's living more than ever. <laughs> Yo, it's Matt McGlashan here from CFXU, and we're going to take you on a little tour of a place we call home. 
So, coming in here through the front door here, we've got our manager's office right to the left here. Sticker wall of glory. Now come on, get in here. We're gonna show you the den. This is where we hang out in between anything that we're doing. All of our meetings are held here, and it's open up to anyone at any time of the day. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Now this is where you come if you want to sing, you want to record guitar, you want to be on an album. This is where all the magic happens. And moving right along, we've got our, uh, our studio where you can come in, do a radio show, host your thing, throw your music up for thousands, hundreds of people to hear online or on the campus over our radio waves, because yeah, we broadcast. So we're gonna move through this door here, back into the hallway, where we can get a look at where the MDs work. Now, we gotta be very quiet, because they're super busy cataloging all of our CDs, but right behind that door, that's where they get their work done. But it just doesn't quite get the attention that I feel like it deserves, you know? Uh... Maybe we have to be louder, uh, maybe we have to be cool again, but like this place used to be a super big hub for culture and it feels like that's kind of lost itself over the years. This kind of music has become more accessible by computers, by our cell phones, you know, you can... We're just listening, people are listening to different streams to try and find their content and I think CFXU has to find a way back in. Now we have a lot of big plans for next year at CFXU. We're going to go upstairs real quickly and show you where our new broadcasting studio is going to be. Follow me! Here we got a wall. And coming back into here, we're going to have all of our equipment that sends out the radio to your beautiful eardrum sound effects. Back through here, we have our new studio space. So this is where all of the shows are going to happen live. We have tables, chairs, just imagine it. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have so much fun content for you guys. It's going to be right up in the middle of the sub where all of you guys can come out and see it live. Exactly. Get excited. So how this all started was we had to establish what's called emergency broadcasting equipment which is essentially just a unit that is installed in our transmitter that ensures that if there's an emergency in Antigonish, our radio, the switch will be flipped and our radio will start broadcasting something. We didn't have the money to buy this piece of equipment, so we had to reach out to the student union. We talked about it, decided that moving forward it was the right decision to keep, the, keep our FM frequency and to keep investing money in CFXU. And really what happens is, once you've invested a little bit of money, in this place, you can't just turn around and like let it die again, right? And so once they'd spent money on this piece of equipment, which was about three thousand dollars, we approached them um, to further improve CFXU by moving our broadcasting booth to a far more visible location upstairs in the Bloomfield Cafe, which um, would completely change how. Um, were perceived by the campus community because right now we're kind of hidden in the basement. Those who know about us know about us and they come and they hang out and they love it. But now we'll be in everyone's faces and everyone will see it and it's guaranteed to increase the number of shows. Um, it's also guaranteed to increase the amount of work for staff which is a huge process moving forward. We're going to have to work on a lot of details surrounding how staff will adjust to an increased workload without really getting paid anymore because <laughs> that's not really on the table we're spending the money on the renovations and not on paying staff because we move the broadcasting studio upstairs we now have space to work with something else so we'll be setting up a recording studio in the basement and a recording studio that's really affordable is something that is you just cannot find in Antigonish you know it's it it, it might Start slow, but I can only see it picking up in momentum. 
I think uh, bringing the booth upstairs is going to uh, definitely increase CFXE's visibility, um, also increase interest, and um, I think um, I think that's also going to bring in more ads, so more community involvement. Um, it seems like a lot of outlets on campus are willing to kind of pair up with us and um, work with us to kind of increase awareness to CFXU and quality. So I think what's coming up is going to be vital. You're listening to CFXU, The Fox. Mmm, music. <laughs>